Wait, have you ever wondered why I start with the fan spinning so often? <laughs> Me too. It's an exciting morning. We've got a lot of going on today for you guys. Um, oh, happy Phonetic Friday, by the way. I think we're gonna call today Fun Filled Friday. If you've got a better idea, you know, at the end of the vlog, if you watched it and you decided that Fun Filled Friday wasn't the most appropriate name for this Friday's Phonetic Friday, Phonetic, Phonetic, Phonetic Friday, Leave a comment down below. Think of a better phonetic Friday for us. Thanks, friends and family. Fun. Freaking check this out, man. We got a clutch of eggs. Yes, that's right. So I am 95% sure that she's done laying, but not 100% sure. I think there actually might be, you know, when I look at the side, I think there might actually be a couple more eggs right down in there. So I'm gonna give her some more time to lay and leave her alone. All right, baby, go ahead and go back and, and do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Take your time. They say the snakes get a little more defensive uh, the longer they sit on the eggs and higher chance for biting me, to be honest. A uh, ball python biting me is really, it's, it's laughable at this point, I think. Um, so I'm gonna let her have a chance to lay a little longer. I do have to go and do an educational show a little bit later. So I'm gonna pack up a snake and do that. And also, we're gonna blow up some watermelons. <laughs> I'd like to dedicate this section of the vlog to Gallagher. Start with the watermelon! Somebody <laughs> ah! be asking, why are we gonna blow up watermelons? Hey, huh. nice shirt, Cuzzo. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well. See, some of us never grew up. Some of us never will grow up. We're hanging out with Michael Dave earlier in the week playing ping pong. Ping pong champion. And he said, let's blow up some watermelons. Let me give you a little backstory on Uncle Dave. So for those of you who've been following the vlog a while, you know that I, I was working with Uncle Dave for a while. We are going doing some construction stuff. I was learning from him. That's where I learned all my skills and how to build my snake room. But Uncle Dave was 15 years old when I was born. Here's a picture of him and I in my grandma's driveway. I think this is like circa 1983 or something, I'm sure. Mom, correct me down in the comments if that's a little off, but... So he was always the big kid uncle. You know, always has been the big kid uncle. And even to this day, even though we're both technically grown adult men, it's still big kid time every time we're hanging out with Uncle Dave. So it was no surprise to me when he said he wanted to blow up some watermelons. So let's blow up some watermelons. We are here on the beautiful remote coast of northern Cayucas, where we find the rare and beautiful beach watermelon, indigenous only to these small stretch of beaches. It spent its entire life growing in these waters, waiting for just the right tide and just the right moon for its spectacular display. Once every five years, the watermelon erupts in a most spectacular fashion to spread its seed to ensure that future generations will continue to grow. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Apparently these things are not, it says it, it says it's an M100, but apparently it's just a regular old firecracker because it didn't, not only did it not make a dent in the watermelon, didn't even make a dent in the sand. <laughs> but you know, we got, we're gonna, we're still gonna blow up watermelon. Let's do it. <laughs> wasn't a complete failure. We still saw slow motion smashing watermelons. And luckily we did this at very, very low tide. So the tide will just come up and feed some, there's gonna be some happy fish getting some watermelons out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna go off to the educational show, teach some kids about snakes, and we'll go back home and cut, cut the clutch? No, pull the clutch, pull the clutch from the snake. We're here at Grover Heights Elementary. We're about to do a look. You remember this guy? If you guys yeah. haven't seen this guy on Triple B TV, man, you gotta go check out that episode. I'll put the link right up here somewhere. We got Tom and Holly over here, so we're gonna have some cool alligators and stuff like that. And of course, I brought a couple of my snakes, and John's got his snakes. And we're just gonna stoke these kids out on some reptile action today. Should be pretty fun. Thank you. 
successful I would say and a ton of fun never gets old watching the kids get excited about snakes man good good stuff but I think that it's high time we got home and pulled that clutch from Candace uh, these guys are gonna supervise me while I take the eggs out and make sure that I do a good job and make sure everything goes the way it's supposed to go right guys so wait 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 what do you know I know Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know. Poo poo on my daddy. Poo poo on it, your daddy? I'm. What, what, what? I'm not even gonna ask about that. I'm just, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna move on to this guy. Hey, Eli. What do you know? I know. Eggs. What about eggs? That the hatching. Are they hatching or are we pulling them from the snakey? Hanging out with the snakey. Yeah, are we gonna get the eggs from the snakey? Yeah. Yeah? Are you guys gonna supervise me and make sure I do a good job? Do you wanna say anything else? No. No? <laughs> okay. Alright, well I got my little deal here. I'm going to... This is... <laughs> people do this all the time every day, but... Uh, I don't. This is exciting for me. I'm going to... Attach this back to the rack. I took it off. It had been so long since she laid. It had been so long since she was supposed to be due. She was due, I guess she was due a week ago today. So, I'm just gonna attach this back on and see how many she left. When I left this morning, she had six. I thought maybe she would lay a couple more, what but we'll did, check it out. What did, what kind of snakey did the eggs, what did the snakey eggs make? Oh, this, this snakey right here is Candace. She laid the eggs. So we're gonna attach this camera up there and so we can sit and watch me pull the eggs and hopefully she has more than six, but six is good. Right now, that what I saw in there was six like nice pearly white eggs. So we'll see if she laid a couple more and we'll go for it. Hey! hey is this where all the boys the are? Eggs, the the snakey, that one lays some eggs. Oh my goodness. It's hat. The eggs When hat? daddy left today, there were six. And what is, what, what is there now? We don't know. Oh. Eggs in there. What's, in, what's his name? Candace. Candace? It's, yeah. Wow. Although she's a she, egg. you know, being the egg leg. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what's her name? Wow, Candace had eggs. Yeah. What's going to come out of the eggs? Baby. Baby snakes or baby yeah, we, turtles? Let me baby snakes. Baby we snakes? Put the eggs in after they... I'm not. Okay, show me where you go after these. Wow. That's an upside down one. Hello? 
Yes, to me. There she is. You think she's gonna watch out? She's probably pretty defensive about having her eggs. She knows she knows we're about to take them, so she's gonna be. Uh, she, stay there. she might she might try to bite me. Find out right now. Have you been bitten by snakes before? Of course I have. What was the first snake you got bitten by? Oh, she's a little hissy. They stay. <laughs> She's like, no, please don't take them. But don't worry, Mom. I'm gonna take a good job with the. I'm gonna take good care of these eggs. Well, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. It is. I'll make sure there's no uh, one, two, extras in here. Four, five, six. I think that's it. I think there's six. When the egg has a bump going in. Yeah, and if you do it again, you'll go back again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. All right, and we're good. Candle them real quick and make sure that all the embryos are up on top and then get them in the incubator and we're gonna call it a day. Got good veins. I have a strong feeling that they're all gonna look like that. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the day. We'll see you soon.